weight and local preference in this video we'll try to understand the two different two major attributes which are used for path manipulations the first one is weight which is a more Cisco proprietary attribute whereas local preference is a well-known optional well-known discretionary attribute which are generally used for path manipulation and they decide how to exit the AS now these two attributes are used for a common purpose and they will decide how to exit the AS path like take an example this is my AS and I got uh, multiple routers or we can say I got multiple exit paths I got one connection from connecting to one AS probably to ISP1 or I can say one more AS uh, connecting to ISP2 or it can be connecting to two different uh, autonomous systems now I want to ensure that by default this is the default exit path which is going to use but let's say I want to prefer this particular specific route now what I can do is I can apply some higher weight on this route or I can apply some higher local preference on this route so that whenever my router decides to go outside the AS it always prefer this route so that is the major purpose of using these two attributes so we'll see how it works with some basic examples the first will start with weight and then we'll move to local preference also once we understand weight so both uh, most of the things are in common except some few differences we'll see those things so first let us try to understand weight as I said weight is a Cisco proprietary attribute so it tells how to exit the autonomous system number like both weight and local preference will do the same thing and path with highest weight is more desirable now whichever the route is having highest weight when you have two exit paths whichever the route is having the higher weight that route will be by default preferred to exit it's local to the router I'll explain you this point in detail before I finish this video but I'm right now I'm just leaving to this point and weight is a partial attribute and the default weight for all your locally originated routes nothing but uh, locally originated routes are here which are nothing but directly connected networks will always have the weight of 32768 for the routes which are not directly connected will have the default weight of 0 which means the routes coming from a different router let's see how this weight is going to affect the BGP path selection process so first I'll take one example here the similar diagram which I used in our previous videos take an example I got a 20 dot network which is my destination and I have a 10 dot network somewhere here in AS500 so I want to ensure that this AS500 10 dot network should be able to reach 20 dot network now as they are in different AS this 20 dot network will be advertised in the BGP and it's getting advertised from this side here you can see and this 20 dot network will have only one autonomous system AS hop with I or is origin code and it is receiving from this side with only one AS hop and at the same time the route is also getting advertised from the other side from this side and when when AS 500 routers or this router receives the 20 dot network it is going to receive the same network from multiple paths one is having only one AS hop whereas the other routes are having multiple AS hops because of the long distance because of multiple AS paths coming in between now when a BGP route is advertised it's going to carry the autonomous system path information and that will be the default decider uh, which which is going to see which is going to simply consider this as a best route and the reason is it is having least number of AS hops but let's say my requirement is to ensure that this path should be preferred over this path now, I want to ensure that this path should be preferred over this path what I can do is I can simply go to this router and I can go and apply to this neighbor I can apply some weight something higher weight because higher value is preferred I can simply say uh, some 4000 because for this network it's not directly connected the default weight is 0 on this side and the weight is 1000 now when this router decides to go outside the AS it always you now it's not going to listen to the AS path information because weight is more preferred than AS path it says this route is having more weight it's always going to use this path so that is the importance of the weight so using weight we can manipulate the path we can decide which path should be more preferred than the other path 
so that's a good thing about the weight but apart from this there is one small disadvantage with the weight is the first one it is a Cisco proprietary attribute if you're running Cisco devices probably you can try weight and the second thing it is local to the router which means it is not going to impact any other router in the AS it's going to only affect the local router like an example here I got one more diagram similar kind of diagram here now the same example I have used this 20 dot network is coming from this side and it is having only one AS hop and also this network is advertised from the other side and this side I'm having multiple AS hops out of these two AS hops this will be considered as the best route because of less AS hops if we don't use any weight or any local preference now I want to prefer this route should be more preferred than the alternate route so that's my requirement now if you want to do that what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply the weight on this router I'm going to this router and then I'll say weight of something 4000 on this side now this side the weight is default zero now uh, when this router when anything comes to this router it says uh, over this path this route is more preferred because of weight so now B will decide that okay the best path should be going via this side via 800 but now when this router inside the AS decides to go now if this router comes to this router then only it will apply the weight but when you apply the weight on router B it is not going to impact any other router in the AS which means it is going to apply only to the local router and the only the local router will be the deciding factor or it will decide how to exit the AS but it's not going to affect any other router in that AS so that is one of the major difference with the local preference so let's try to understand a local preference so when I when I discuss local preference probably you will get a more understanding better understanding on this point let, let me jump to the local preference here now the local preference is also the same thing you can see it defines how to ex how the data traffic should exit the AS and here also the common point highest value is preferred and the default local preference value will be 100 but we can increase it as per our requirement but the major difference between the weight and the local preference apart from these values is it is advertised to all your internal BGP neighbors within the AS so let me explain you uh, much in detail about this so on the same diagram I am coming here now this network is getting advertised from this side with only one AS hop and coming from this side with multiple AS hops and the default best route is this now my requirement is to change the best route and I want to ensure that this route must be preferred route to reach 20 dot network rather than this route that is my requirement so what I can do is I can go to this router and I can apply the local preference value and I'm going to say the local preference value of 200 and by default everyone will have the local preference of 100 now when you do that automatically this router will start advertising this information to all these neighbors within the AS which means this 20 dot network will be advertised coming from AS 600 reaches 700 and then reaches 800 and then finally reaches router B and this router B is going to advertise now router B is going to advertise the same network whatever uh, it is receiving let's say in our scenario 20 dot network is going to advertise from 600 and then reaches 700 and then reaches 800 and then reaches our router B now B is going to advertise the same network not only 20 dot network whatever the networks it is learning it's going to advertise this network with local preference value of 200 so which means now router A or we can give some names here router C router D now your router A router C router D is going to receive the 20 dot network from both the ends it's going to receive from this side with this AS hop and the local preference value will be the default which is 100 and also it is receiving the route from this side the other end with the same local preference value of 200 now the router A will decide that router A says okay I'm receiving the route from both the ends and when it decides 
Now router A will decide that okay this side the local preference value is 200 so router A will always use this route and router B or router C also will use this route and router D also will use the alternate route which means I can say now if you apply weight it is going to affect only the local router that is one of the major difference and it is not going to advertise to any other routers inside this it is local to the router but when you say local preference local preference also same it tells how to exit the AS but it is going to advertise to all the routers inside your IGP nothing but IBGP neighbors it's going to advertise that information along with the network information so now every router it is going to affect all the routers inside this which means every router inside the AS will automatically use the highest local preference value because the network is advertised whereas it's going to affect the local router it's going to affect all the routers now it's very simple and very uh, very important thing to understand is whenever the question says let's say you have a requirement that all the routers inside the AS should exit via so and so router XYZ router now if you want then you, we generally use local preference if the question says only router B should exit via this router we use weight so that is a one major uh, decider when to use local preference and when to use weight now weight is local to the router it's not getting advertised so it's more uh, applicable when you have two exit paths from the same router weight is more applicable I can say because if you want to go outside this definitely you have to come to this router A to go outside but when you have multiple exit paths through multiple different routers and you want to manipulate or you want uh, every router inside the AS should get affected or should should do the path manipulation as per your requirement then it's more common to use local preference but these are the two uh, major attributes which are used when we decide uh, to exit the AS when you want any specific route to prefer now it depends upon uh, which one you want to use and what is your requirement